In this video, we'll discuss how you can put computed values in a form view control. So you can see we have a simple UX component here. We have a list control, which is the data source for our form view control. We have a form view control over here. And then when we tap on a field in the form view control, we get the editor for that field um, over here. So uh, in this particular data source, the list has uh, two columns, one called price and one called quantity. And you can see that uh, in the form itself, we're displaying the, uh, the calculated value. So basically, for example, um, actually, uh, if we go look at that record over there, we've got 7 times 9, so that's basically 63. If we go here and make an edit to that value, let's go and change that to, say, 4, and then hit the Save button. You can see that the value there updates immediately uh, to 36, and then I can save that the form edits back to the list. So let's go take a look now at how these um, calculated values are inserted into the form. So the thing to keep in mind is that the form over here is just basically an HTML, um, just HTML that has been rendered using Alpha's uh, client-side templating functionality. So the way in which this uh, calculation is done is by using um, features in the client-side uh, templating library. So if you're not familiar with client-side templating, one good place to go to start to learn about that is to go to the uh, tools menu and then over here you can open up the, uh, um, the template tester uh, window where you can learn um, everything you need to know about client-side templating and then you can open up the documentation for templating as well over there. So let's go now to the actual uh, form itself and we can see that in the form if we edit the form that uh, in the form layout uh, we have our individual fields so these are all the fields the data fields in the list control and we put them in a layout container that is flowed so we have two fields per line and then to do the calculation we've put in some static text because we're going to just put in uh, some uh, template HTML so we'll go here and edit the um, static text and we can see that in the static text we've basically got curly bracket which is the syntax for client-side templating and then inside the curly brackets we've got an expression price times quantity and then we've got a format string over there to actually specify the uh, display format because we want to display it with uh, two decimal places and a dollar sign as the prefix so if we go here and just start, start from scratch we can go here and we can say insert field and there's the price field and then we can say insert field again and there's the quantity field but we want to combine those two into a single computed value so we'll just go there and put price times quantity inside our uh, curly brackets so anything uh, inside curly brackets can be an expression so there we have price times quantity and now we'd like to insert a display format so we'll go to format directives we'll choose a numeric format and we can use the genie over here to help us choose the format so we'll just choose this one which is basically um, a dollar sign uh, prefix and then also just dash 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 if the number is uh, zero so we'll double click on that click OK and now we can see we've inserted the the, um, the format expression. So this here is just a regular alpha client-side templating syntax and when the form is rendered this template here will be evaluated and the uh, computed value will be rendered. So let's go ahead now and just run this again. So when we go now and uh, tap on a row in the list we can see that the calculation is done and then when we tap on a row that has no value you can see that since the value is zero the template has specified use dash 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 instead so if we go there and type in say uh, three for the price and uh, let's go here and type in say uh, two for the quantity you can see that it updates instantaneously and then when I press the save button the data gets committed back to the list. So adding um, calculated values to a form control is easily done using the client-side templating syntax. Thanks very much for watching.